So I'll show you how to wire a dash cam in a very simple way in a C5 Corvette uh, without needing to to root wires uh, within the roof, uh, the roof carpet or the A pillar and down into the fuse box or something like that. Uh, we will use the power we get uh, through the to the mirror. So this will work with almost any dash cam that works with uh, five bolts. I think all of them will work with five bolts. Uh, when you purchase your your dash cam, uh, this is the one I have right now here. Uh, you will get a wiring kit, which is something like this, uh, which you have to plug into the uh, your your lighter power outlet. So you know uh, you will have wires all around your dashboard, so you don't want that. So what we will do here is is to wire the dash cam to the mirror harness so to get there you'll just need to get your mirror down in this position so you can get access to the to the connector uh, you will have to push it on the upper part and start prying it with your hands until you get it loose so there you go uh, I have already tested uh, which wires will give you the correct voltage for the dash cam I use the, the voltmeter uh, so I already tested that the right wires are the black for the ground and the gray the first one for the uh, for the positive voltage so this will give you uh, 12 volts only when you have your ignition key on because you don't want you don't want your dash cam to be on when when the car it's with the ignition off it, it will drain your your battery so uh you will have to purchase uh with your dash cam uh something called the hard hard wire kit which is this this little little box which will have uh the power the power input in one side and the other side will have the the micro USB or mini USB connection for your dash cam. Be sure to purchase the correct one for your dash cam. For example, in this case, I uh, I bought the wrong one, so I had I had to split the wire here and replace it with the right uh, connection. Also, uh, this will be a very long cable because. Uh, you are supposed to wire everything into the roof and the A pillar and down uh, in the foot area of the car. So maybe you will want to first before uh, doing anything check uh, how long your wires will be from from the mirror uh, to the little box and to the USB, so you don't have uh, a lot of cable going around. Uh, in this case, uh, what I did was a little hole in this uh, in this sleeve, so I will I will track the wires inside this this sleeve, so they will they will be visible from the outside. Anyway, this area of the windshield is darkened, so. Uh, it won't be very visible, but still it will look much uh, much nicer in this in this way and the the other the other portion of the cable uh, will be root I mean I will try to the idea is to put this little box down inside the the liner so it would be hidden under I mean inside this this area so uh the length of this of this wire is just what it will take to get here and the dash cam will be just below the mirror so depending on the position you want to install your dash cam then you will need to adjust the i mean split the wire into the length you will need if you don't feel uh comfortable in feel comfortable enough to split the wire just uh, you'll have to figure out where where you will put the all the length of the wire. 
So le let's test this out. You you will put the black wire, which is the ground, on the black wire of the mirror harness, as I told you. Uh, just be sure all the. I mean, for this for this test, I will just put it temporarily, but you will want to get uh, the wires there in a in a nice fashion so they will they won't come out let's try this okay there it is the camera it's difficult with the camera in one hand but let's connect the micro usb into the dash cam and let's Let's start the, let's turn on the ignition. Now the ignition is off. There is no power in the camera. You turn on the ignition. And there's the LEDs coming on. And there you go. The dash cam is working right now. And you turn off the ignition. And the dash can be off. So that's it. Then you'll have to figure out where to stick on the camera. There, most of them will have the the sticky pad. So that's pretty much it. And I hope you can do it as easily as I did it here.